Hello everyone, today we have the privilege of engaging in an insightful interview with Hisataka Yakabiso, Executive Officer and Director of the Hydrogen and Carbon Management Department at Tokyo Gas. Japan is actively prioritizing the development of a hydrogen economy, and Tokyo Gas has been a key contributor to this transition. With its involvement in various hydrogen-related projects and its expertise in the field, Tokyo Gas is playing an important role in advancing Japan's clean energy landscape, and we look forward to discussing their strategies. Welcome, Yakabiso. Nice to see you. I'm Isataka Yakabe from Tokyo Gas. And now I'm a director of hydrogen and carbon management department. And I'm in charge of the work to decarbonize Tokyo Gas for business. Yeah, and thank you. I'm very interested in technology and hydrogen. How we can use hydrogen in our future business? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And the first question for you is. Could you share Tokyo Gas specific strategies and the plans for hydrogen deployment, including the key infrastructure and the partnerships supporting this transition? Uh, first, let me explain about the history of Japan. About 13 or 40 years ago, Japan started the work toward the implementation and realizing the hydrogen society. And I think at the time, Japan was the most advanced country in the world in terms of uh, hydrogen related initiatives. And uh, at the time, I think uh, so, only the option of hydrogen carrier is uh, liquefied hydrogen. And then, recently, so there are several types of different uh, hydrogen derivatives, and they are considered as the hydrogen carrier. And now, so we think uh, e-methane. Is one of the most promising candidates to be used in our company. Therefore, we are focusing on investment. And then let me explain about uh, Tokyo Gas business. Tokyo Gas is providing gas and power and energy services on the basis of natural gas. And uh, how to decarbonize uh, our company's business? So, the usage of hydrogen is very important. Therefore, so we consider how to use hydrogen. But the, the condition in Japan is different from just in Europe. Europe. In Europe, they consider to blend hydrogen into gas pipeline and natural gas. However, it is difficult to inject hydrogen into gas pipeline very easily because the area where there is abundant real power and the demand area, like the urban area, is different. And in local area, there is no gas pipeline. Therefore, even though using the surplus electricity, hydrogen is produced, it is difficult to eject gas pipeline. Therefore, we should consider some other way. And in our company's case, it is very convenient to import much hydrogen from overseas. And Japan is a small island country. And uh, so we are isolated from other neighbor countries like uh, Korea, China, and Taiwan. And we should manage our own energy by ourselves. And uh, very how fortunately in Japan, we don't have enough resources of nearby power. Therefore, importing uh, much hydrogen from overseas is a very smart way. And uh, we consider how to import hydrogen and one option is Therefore, we are concentrating on the investment project. Yeah, thanks. And with the involving energy landscape, how does Tokyo Gas envision the role of hydrogen as an energy source, both within Japan and on a global scale? What are the company's long-term aspirations and goals regarding the hydrogen sector? Mm -hmm. As I explained, uh, so we are now concentrating on the investment project. So there are about uh, three or four types of different hydrogen derivatives. So one is liquefied hydrogen, ammonia, organic compound, and methane. And depending on the type and the, the usage of hydrogen derivative, we can share different types of hydrogen derivative. 
and the concealing the compatibility with gas industry. So we think uh, even then it's the best option for our company. And now we are promoting uh, the EVSM project in the US. And we are collaborating with uh, other Japanese gas companies and trading company and recently local US company joined our project. And now we are promoting five companies on social near Gulf Mexico area. So we will produce in Japan. And uh, at the, the LNG shipping terminal, Imethane is shipped and transported to Japan. And this year, we are now doing uh, the pre-feed process. And next year, we will move to the feed process. And in 2025, we should conduct the final decision. Therefore, we should hurry up uh, the establishment of Imethane. Thanks for sharing. And the last one question for you is what are your expectations for the connecting green hydrogen in Japan? Mm -hmm. And in your view, how does such an event hold a significance in advancing industry development and strengthening international partnerships in this clean energy market? Uh, thank you for asking. This is my first time to join this wonderful conference. And, uh, producing much hydrogen, importing much hydrogen, and the establishment of large-scale global supply chain can be done and conducted by only one company. Therefore, collaboration and very strong partnership is important. And for the time being, for now, I think methane isn't so popular. Last week, I went to Europe, but most hydrogen derivative means ammonia or liquefied hydrogen. And I didn't hear any word of EMSM. Therefore, this is a very good opportunity for me to appeal how EMSM is and how EMSM can be used in Japan and all over the world. And to prepare a good market of EMSM, very strong relationship and a broad understanding of EMSM is very important. Therefore, this time I came here and uh, I could present uh, my idea and our company's business to all audiences. And uh, maybe continuing with this kind of uh, so the activities and the action, it is very important to spread uh, the knowledge about the uh, event. And uh, next year, if I have an opportunity, I will join and uh, I will introduce some other idea and how we are promoting the event project step by step. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Yakabi, and for sharing your valuable insights and uh, expertise on Tokyo gas strategies and the role of hydrogen in the energy landscape. Thank you. And it has been an enlightening conversation, and we appreciate your contribution to our understanding of Japan's hydrogen initiatives mm -hmm. and the Tokyo gas' important role in this dynamic industry. And we look forward to witnessing the positive impacts that Tokyo gas will continue to make in the world of clean energy. Thank you very much and I look forward yeah, to your next you. participation. Thank you for your comment. Thank and, you. Uh, it's my great pleasure to take uh, this interview. Thank you. And uh, continuously we will conduct uh, and uh, we will promote uh, our current activity and uh, we will contribute to the spread of hydrogen in Japan all over the world. Thank you. Thank you.